The thing causing you to not scale is that you're looking for a roadmap. And I get it. We grow up in schools that have signs with roadmaps to success, and it leads to college, which leads to a job, which leads to a promotion and new titles. There is a roadmap, but that isn't your roadmap. You're an entrepreneur and entrepreneurs don't have them because your road hasn't been paved. You create, you pave the way and you do it because you are unique. You have a specific message and you're doing it your way. So why are you searching for a roadmap to a location that has never been discovered? Without realizing it, that number one thing, keeping entrepreneurs stuck from scaling into the seven figures is their inability to create their own roadmap. If you've made it to six figures, one thing's for sure, you've got grit and you've got hustle. Your ability to come up with an idea and immediately execute has taken you this far. You've taken courses, read all the blog posts, and now it's time to let all of that information go. Because at this level, there is no script, there is no formula, and there is no roadmap. The sooner you stop looking for a roadmap, the sooner you can start creating your own. If you were hiking up Mount Everest and there was a briefcase filled with a million dollars waiting for you at the summit, how would you get there? Would you spend all your time searching for the perfect map? Or would you hire a guide who has been up the mountain many times over to show you the way? The perfect map for transforming your course into a seven-figure business doesn't exist. Think about it. If there is a perfect roadmap, why isn't everyone running seven-figure businesses? But just because you have a product doesn't mean you have an amazing offer. Most course creators spend 90% of their time creating the product and only 10% of the time on the offer, simply because they don't understand the difference. It's not their fault. It's what they've been taught to do. I mean, how many courses about creating courses have we all bought? I don't teach people how to create a course. I teach them how to develop their offer. I have an eight point diagnostic process that each of my clients must complete before we even begin to tackle their webinar. Because you cannot create a webinar without a deep understanding of your offer. An offer is an opportunity for transformation. It's time to slow down in order to scale up. Everything you've accomplished so far has relied on your speed of execution. Speed is great to get to your first six figures, but to get to seven, you need to slow down to look at your offer in detail and identify the gaps that are missing, the gaps that are preventing you from scaling. Once you've completed the creation phase, it's time to launch. Launching allows you to build momentum, make a tidy profit, and test the efficacy of your marketing collateral. Again, this is not about speed, it's about precision. Removing emotional attachment to your numbers is key. This will help you look objectively at data points and those data points will highlight exactly what needs to be improved upon before the next launch. After the launch phase, you need to move into automation. This phase is crucial and often ignored. If you do not have an automated system for attracting, converting, and serving your students, you don't have a scalable business. This is where the magic happens. This is when you start to see that there truly are no limits. $10,000 coming in on a Sunday while you make pancakes with your kids. The possibilities for you and your family are no longer limited by the number on your bank account. All because you stopped looking for the perfect roadmap and created your own.